None of us are taught how to be mothers. When I first started at Avance, I had no parenting skills. I was 18 when somebody came knocking on my door and it was the people from Avance. Avance taught us how to sit down and, and take time and talk to your children. I grew up in a family where I was constantly physically abused. I didn't think I could be anything. Uh, I had dropped out of school before uh, seventh grade. I didn't finish the seventh grade. And um, I felt like after three children, how could I go to school? Avance opened my eyes and said, that's not the way you treat a child. I did receive my license in vocational nursing. I retired from Santa Rosa Hospital after 37 years of nursing. I was able to, to go to school. I went to um, one of the community colleges and, um, and it opened a lot of doors for me. I have three children. Carla is at the Young Women's Leadership Academy. She's very smart, she's very talented, and her self-esteem is just wonderful. Then I have Marcos and Susana. They're both part of the Gifted and Talented program. Marcos got uh, commended on all three star um, assessments, and he also got a perfect score in the math. I have Susan, who has the highest GPA in I know it's second grade, but still second grade, highest GPA from the whole school. So she's very wonderful. Um, Susan also won uh, a first place in SAISD district in an art piece that she put together. My daughters all went to school. They all graduated from Our Lady of the Lake. And, um, and the story continues. I have a total of five children and they all went through Avance at one time or another. And all because I've pushed them. If I can do it, you can do it. My mom's my rock, you know, because she always pushed us to go to school. And yeah, I've gotten my associates, my bachelor's, and, and my master's, you know, but I think it all started off with her not giving up on the people from Avance and getting me that number one certificate in 1973. That's what started it all. You know, I mean, yeah, I'm here, you know, emotional and stuff, but that's one of the things that my mom gave us was education. To, to make sure that you don't give up and that you believe in yourself. I lost a lot of friends to, to violence, um, to prison, because they didn't, they didn't have the opportunity that my mom had with Avance, and uh, we're all very successful because of that. And uh, that's one of the things that I would tell my mom is thank you for not giving up on Avance, and thank you for not giving up on herself and her family. How would you describe your mom to someone that doesn't know her. Amazing. Like, she's always there for you. Like, she's like great support. She never gives up on you. She's always there like to cheer you up when you're down, like when you need help with anything. She's like a superhero to you. And she's always there to like save the day when something's going wrong or when you need to help with your ups and downs. My mom is awesome, and she is amazing. She loves me. She cooks, she cleans. She does a lot of things. My mom's just one of a kind. She's like, she's, she's really, she, I can't compare her to anybody else in the world. I think she doesn't know that she's actually my role model because I never actually tell her that. It's always been in my mind. I never tell her that. She has two jobs, actually. Like, taking care of us, and trust me, taking care of us is a handful. And, then, and she's also a teacher at Liao. think you know why they why you're doing is actually translating to your kids 
you're always thinking that, oh, your child, it's, they don't really understand what you're going through. They don't understand that you have a job. They don't understand that you also have to come home and be the mother. But it's opened my eyes, you know, that my kids really care. I wanted to start Avance, walking distance from where I was reared. Uh, this was a community that was full of crime, of violence. From my own research study, I found that the parents loved their children, but they didn't think that their children were gonna go beyond the seventh grade, so they lost hope. And so we had to rekindle that spirit of hope. We got a group of very dynamic women the first year. So. We created, because of the need, this comprehensive, integrative uh, model where it starts with a child zero to three, but then the parent, uh, we encourage that parent to come back and continue their own education and to get their high school education or their GED and to go on to college and they were doing it. They became the role models for the community and saying I was where you're at and look at me now, if I can change, you can as well. And then we were encouraging the children to continue their own education after they left us and we uh, connected them to Head Start. It was an, until 17 years later where I was getting all of these uh, high school invitations that I realized that while we had a 91% dropout rate among the mothers, we had a 94% graduation rate among the first class. Avance planted a seed in a very high-risk community and we nurtured it and made sure that it succeeded. From that, it was the ripple that continued to grow into new communities and into new cities. And I applaud anyone that will work at making it grow and, and, and yet still remain Avance and the program that we know works. The program that was featured in ABC, Good Morning America, the New York Times, that was visited by Prince Charles, by Barbara Bush, that was in three First Ladies books that was uh, recognized as a model in the White House in early childhood education. It's an amazing journey that I've had as the founder of Avance. Uh, it was not a job, it was a mission. It was my calling, my purpose in life. And I am very appreciative of everyone, whether it's a staff member or a board member that has dedicated themselves for Avance's future. We have impacted the lives of so many individuals and I want to thank them for taking that first step and, and working so hard to, to help their own children and to leave their own legacy and to uh, change those cycles of poverty or abuse or whatever it is. The children are our future and they were the first teachers of those children and they did a phenomenal job. To be a part of this family, to be a part of this body of work is, uh, is humbling and it is, um, it's inspiring. The point of this 40th anniversary is not just to celebrate the body of work uh, and the, uh, the trailblazing work that has occurred over the last 40 years, but is also to look forward to the next 40 years. Lance, with its uh, historical cultural competency, intends to continue to be a national or international leader in innovation and helping to transform families and children. Anyone that ever has attended an Lance graduation gets it. When you get to see the transformation of a parent and a child at a graduation, there's nothing more heart-lifting, perhaps, uh, that somehow uh, your effort, you know, on this earth has, has been meaningful. And uh, I, I would invite everyone who's at this event who has never attended an Avance graduation to attend a graduation. Um, I think uh, it, it's something that we owe uh, 
the staff is something that we owe the families who, who uh, volunteer and contribute so much uh, to honor them uh, because it, it truly is a ripple effect. As these families and children are transformed, thus they transform their own families and the communities in which they live. We're just uh, very excited about the potential of what we are still about to achieve. And so I'm super excited just to be a, a, a part of this team.